today from First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We are in the so-called rock and roll capital of the world, Cleveland, Ohio, at First Energy Stadium on the shores of Lake Erie. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New York Giants and the Cleveland Browns. The Browns kicker, Cody Parkey, all set and off we go from First Energy Stadium. Returning it, John Ross. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Giants ready to go to work on offense and leading them out. Their third-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants. But his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring them down in the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 45-yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and four. Throwing Jones to Barkley on the check down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. And able to work his way down to the 16. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. A handoff to Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good touchdown! It's complete. 
Darius Slayton. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And the Browns set to go on offense for the first time, led by Baker Mayfield in his fourth season now from Oklahoma. And while we can quibble a little bit about statistics, to me, Baker Mayfield's coming off his best season yet. 26 touchdown passes, cut way down on his turnovers, and led the Browns to a playoff victory for the first time since 1994. This young man continues to mature as both a passer and a leader. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And finding the tight end, Hooper. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. Stiff-armed him. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 34. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second down, here's Barkley. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. 
No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Today, from Lumen Field in Seattle, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. The Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott set to go on offense for the first time. And with Dak at the controls, his sixth season under center now as the Cowboys quarterback. You remember last year he got off to an incredible start. Threw for over 450 yards in three straight weeks, including 502 against the Cleveland Browns in week four. Just four yards short of the franchise's single game record. Then came his injury in week five. They pretty well derailed the Cowboys season. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he is caught by Lamb. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 36 yards on the play. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, Defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. The give is to Elliott, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebackers. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. To throw is Prescott. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. And that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly 
The momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott now from the 50. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 30 yards there. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. A give to Elliott. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Zeke going to get it on the option. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Zeke Elliott able to find his way in from a yard out. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, I tell you, Ezekiel Elliott, I mean, he is just built like a bowling ball, and he powered his way into the end zone there. I love that description of him because when you think about Zeke, you think about lower body strength and those legs churning and creating extra yardage. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is DJ Reed returning. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Seattle's offense ready to go here for the first time. And leading them is the seven-time Pro Bowler. In his 10th year now in the NFL, Russell Wilson. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. At the beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football and rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 27. Wilson. 
Space to maneuver at the 40. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has it up for the first. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Wilson. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. From just shy of midfield, Wilson. And this will go to Carson out wide. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So for this defense, a tall order yeah, trying to defend against Russell Wilson. Charles, your keys for how they might go about keeping him in check? Well, before we even get to the keys, let's start with the problems he presents because he feels pressure so well. He's got a great sixth sense, maybe even a seventh and eighth. He knows where the pressure's coming from. He knows how to slide away from it, sometimes run away from it. And then